Rituals, rituals, waiting for the stars. It's about as Tevinter as blood magic and hubris. Learning about the gods' plans is wonderful, of course. But the lists of magisters you got your hands on. Now there's the real gold. You've looked at it already. Of course you have. Information on their backers, the ties to illegal slavery. Don't you see what this means? This is power, May. Imagine becoming Archon and using this against those who've been hurting the people for years. You, on the throne, Dorian. Tell me that wouldn't be a splendid way to bring about real change. You're talking politics when the gods are still a problem. Do you not think attacking the cult support in Minrathus weakens the gods? Every attack must be followed by another. Any advantage must be exploited from all angles. But how would you use this information exactly? Dorian wants to use it to crush our enemies by whatever means necessary. I prefer to use it to rally the people. I say we make the information known. Allow the people to see the real justice served. Prove that from now on, we work for them. We tried that already. Well, have you forgotten the Lucerni? I no longer trust that political machine will work in our favor. No. We must get at the root of the problem before they can react. A more forceful approach. Destroy them and their networks utterly. Swords and spies and blackmail? The devious means you learned in the South? If we go outside the system, we invite everyone else to do the same. No, we have to do this in the open. Show the people of Tevinter that we're here for them. We're Shadow Dragons. It's right there in the name. You supported this because you knew the system didn't work for the people. The point was to work in the shadows until we could work in the light. And Rook has brought us what we need. May, the Imperium's politics burned you once and you still... Enough. We're not the only ones who have a stake in this. Rook, you have been instrumental in all this. Which strategy do you prefer? What sort of change are you trying to achieve? For a start, slavery. Abhorrent. It needs to go no more. And Tevinter has been ruled by the Altus Mages for all of its history. That must change. The Zoparati, non-mages, deserve a say in their own governance. And all that's just the beginning of what will undoubtedly be a long journey. Shouldn't you be on the same side? We are on the same side. We both know what Tevinter needs. How best to get it, that's the question. If we went with Dorian's plan, I'd support it fully. But we won't. Because he'll come around and realize that I'm right. And I'd absolutely back you up on that, if you were right, which you aren't. We'll see. Will we? Hmm. Mivaris, you really believe making this evidence public will work? Dorian wants to work behind the scenes, but once again, it's the Magisters and Highbloods pulling the Imperium strings. That doesn't inspire. It's a tactic used by our enemies. We need to show to Vinter that we can be different. Unless they find some way to bury it? Or leverage their wealth, power, and status as they often have before? Politics is a long game. If we use force against our enemies, our allies will remember it. Dorian, are you really suggesting violent revolution? Not necessarily. Sometimes a mere threat of violence is sufficient. He learned that from his friends in the South. I hear Ferelden settled a succession crisis with a duel. It worked. Astoundingly. We're not Ferelden. I'm merely saying we need to consider bold and creative methods of achieving our ends. The game is rigged. Why play by rules crooked magisters already exploit? Clear the board and start over. If they're gone, we can fill the magisterium with those who respect the office. Then we'll actually see progress.
You want me to choose who will be Archon. But I'm not even from here. I can't decide. Then talk to the ones who are. See what they say. Asher and Tarquin, Nev, Gallus, they're all a part of this, just as you are. We should all be comfortable with whatever course we take. All right. I'll go do that. <laughs>